We're talking about systems culture in your understanding of, of the term. What does that look like having a, a culture around systems? And then where do we start? So the way that I like to think about it is reaching the point at which the team says, this is how we do things here. As you're kind of going through the journey and you're introducing systems and processes, you need to remind people to follow process. You know, you need to really focus on developing those systems. It's a little bit like you're pushing a rock up a hill. Like at the start, there's that's where most of the resistance is going to come from. If you are going to have team members that push back, they'll push back early. And it's not until you kind of get over this hump that then things get a lot easier. When I think about it early on, some of this comes from reading Atomic Habits by James Clear. And uh, what we need to do is you need to drop the evidence around the business and for team members that you are a systems driven company. So it's little things like, you know, if you're a bricks and mortar business, maybe you have QR codes that are stuck to the machinery inside the factory that you can scan and it jumps to the system that shows you how to, how to set up that piece of equipment. Or maybe it's sticky notes on the computers reminding you to make a process. Or maybe it's getting a bunch of mouse pads saying, you know, am I going to do this again? Let's create a system. What are all of the little things that you can do? Is it having it as an agenda item on your weekly team mem meeting where you showcase a system or you celebrate system wins? So early on, you need to try and plant as many of these seeds as possible and keep kind of watering them. And we, we talk about this idea of identifying a systems champion whose role it is in the business to keep this front and center until the point at which yep. the culture really starts to take hold.